All right, I'm back. I accidentally hit the button and shut my camera off. So this will be a part two. I got it set up on my four wheeler now where I can drive this bar in. It's pretty nippy out here today with the wind. But hopefully you guys will get the concept. One of the things I found when driving the bar in is you have to try and make sure to put it directly into the center. Because sometimes when you drive it in, you may start out in the center right here on that side and it end up coming out on the side and that makes it unroll uh, pretty uneven. So I will place it here directly in the center. Turn this dirt off. Hopefully you can hear me. You can push it in so far, but you want to try and keep it as level as possible. other thing is once you get it in it's pretty hard to get it out and man I nailed it I'm not sure if you can see it I'll turn it where you'll be able to see it that is perfect now I have it directly centered didn't even have to use my old sledging hammer now I'll grab my straps off the back of my four wheeler as my neighbor's dog creep up on me. She's always showing up when she hear the four wheeler. Put our straps on. Make sure they pull it even. Lay my top. Now I have to take the four wheeler and four wheeler and turn it around reason why I had it set up this way so you guys could see me Dakota you need to go home sweetie uh, no no go She's a sweet dog but for whatever reason she like bothering my cow I don't like So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the hay roll running over the straps. Thanks to Daniel Howe, that made a world of difference for us when it comes to rolling the hay out. I may have, maybe, I will see that, but I'm gonna have a little challenge here because I don't think I have it hooked up even, but it'll still roll. Stand on the side. There you go. Boom. All right. I just fell off the floor. Hold on. <laughs> Didn't have my separation correct. Now we got the straps stuck. I need to see if we can get this going. There we go. Let's take the 
time, rolling it. I notice when you build up too much speed, it can cause a little bit of problem. Now I need to pay attention to where I'm going. We use poly braid wire out here for right now until we get a high tensile installed. When in doubt, check to make sure that the fence is off. Trust me, I've screwed up enough. And usually all I have to do is come out to the side, see my blinking red light, and we are good to go. And I'll come and raise my wire. Ooh, I got a little challenge here. I'm gonna have to make sure I steer clear of my whale cap. So that means I will have to turn my full wheel. Have enough flexibility in this wire to All right. now what I'll do is get off the four-wheeler and stand beside it make sure my wire is clear of everything back up with the four-wheeler I'll just take my hand here <clears throat> well, it ain't too easy with one hand let me see if I can lift it and twist there we go now we got the bell back in line you want to try and keep those straps as straight as possible go back under try and miss this well cap right here It should stay up there and ride right over. Pretty big bale. Beautiful bale. Thanks to Rylette Farms. Alright, we got our wire over. Almost. I need to take my bale, turn it again, set the camera down. and clear this well cap right here. Now you notice I kept the net on because if I don't it's gonna unroll. Miss the well cap. Now something else. I will be rolling this through water and you'll be amazed how dry that hay is gonna stay because that net wrap is rolled so tight that that water was shed completely off of it. I try not to stay in the water too long 
now. I'm going to have to go and straighten it up so I can go straight. The other thing I need to do is go ahead and put some hay out. So I have some extra hay out here. Because as soon as I come in there with this roll of hay, I'm going to set the camera down again. As soon as I come in with this roll of hay, she's going to attack me. deal with all of this but it was my fault because I was totally forgot about the whale cap usually what the places I have the hay set is where I could get a straight run I need to put my wire back onto this so it can keep that spool hot I'll come over here I had a bale of hay that I have for my sheep I'll just Give her a little bit, keep her busy. And this hay has tons of seeds in it. As you can see, clover. I mean, just all the stuff. Look at that white clover. Still has a little bit of, like, I don't know if you can see it right there. Yes, has tons of seeds in it. But guess where I'm gonna put it? I will put it right here in this muddy spot. Gonna be tons of clover growing right here. I'll let her plant the seeds for me. I actually put the hay all on top of her head. I'll give her another piece just to keep her busy. Man, this hay has tons of seeds. That's why I love it. She munch on that. I'll usually shake it a little bit. Trying to help the seeds fall out. Look at all that clover. And that's red clover right there. We got some white clover, red clover. Free seeds. I say free. This hay was actually $2 a bale. Back when this guy used to bale it for fun. And we usually would try and buy all we could. But I'll come back over here while she's busy. Go back to the side of my four-wheeler. Roll it all the way to the straight. Step out, off, lift this up. I actually have this pretty good and loose. Oh, I wish I could have my sound with me. Now, let's try and get it, keep it straight. Move it off this side. Now I'm about to roll in all that water. So I'll do, I'll pull it up to the wire. Let it get a little bit of tension. And then it should stay on top. Like that. And I'll just keep rolling through all this water here. You have to watch it, make sure it don't hang up. Sometimes it does, like that. But I have enough slack that it comes right off. Dakota, no. 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 Go home, Dakota. No. other side of that so I roll off enough for her to eat on today and maybe tomorrow
all because it'll roll off a lot less. off pretty good. All that water I rode through, hay was not soppy, wet. We'll take it all the way over to the next wire. As we drive straight, she will waste some and eat some. But looking at the condition of this area out here, all this sage, or sedge is the proper way. Mississippi we call it sage. Um, show you what we got. Look at that. Not too thick. You know what? I may have it the correct way. It's a lot less. You know, if you have multiple cows out here, you want to take it and thin it out a little bit. But with it just being her, she'll trample on some, put more carbon down. Because if you look at all the sedge I have out here, and I need more carbon, there's a little bit of green growing out here. But I want more, especially when it comes to spring and also before we get the sheep out here Dakota no I'll get it on the other side of this wire Good and tight. Not quite there. Get on the opposite side. We'll be good to go. There we go. Basically, what I'll do, I'll leave it once I get it on this side of the wire. Keep her from messing with it. There we go. I'm a poor, oh, actually, a little bit cat and wampus. I'll just take my strap off. The four wheeler here. 